All right, I'm back with another webcam video, and this time we're going to be playing What Flavor Are You? Why does Matt keep making these levels for me? Well, anyway, what flavor could a person possibly be? Let's find out the answer to that question. Oh, oh boy, wow. Okay, so we have, like, rocks and polka dots and a turtle and squiggly line rocks on walls we have this this whole level is just bright like really bright um there's a sign okay you seek your flavor do you not what you will find may amaze you be brave and conquer your fears as your journey awaits you you know these wonderland guys they kind of look like gobstoppers are they gobstopper flavored like the yellow flavor of gobstopper because that would be you know that makes sense because they look like gobstoppers. You know what I mean? They look like they look like the Wonka ones that are yellow and are circular. I guess just because they're yellow and circular. I mean, it's a natural comparison to make. Okay, same message again. Well, uh, let's see. What are we supposed to do here? We have another area we can go to. We have two other areas we can go to. We have a turtle. That doesn't help us much right now, though, because we can't really get it to stay anywhere. I see an ice power up down there, so I'm guessing... Oh, whoops, wrong menu. I'm guessing we have to freeze the turtle on the button, which will open the red gate. So let's see, we have a rainbow-colored gate, which is blocking the star, so we want to find a rainbow color. Um, and I don't see that anywhere. Maybe it's beyond that yellow gate there, because that looks like... It's behind the red gate, right? So it looks like it's going to be nearly the last step. Um, so far, so good. Oh, also, there's a yellow button beyond the turtle. Uh, so freeze the turtle on the red button. And then there's going to be this magic here, which will allow us to get across. Press the yellow button, which will presumably open a teleport, because what else would it do? And then we'll go to the yellow gate again because the turtle will presumably still be on the button and go into that area but first before we do any of that we need orange and we don't have orange so let's go here no reason to go to one area over the other well there's our orange key beyond a red gate we have spikes going every which way wow okay so this is like a dungeon there's red gates, a blue gem is behind the one on the left. So I'm assuming that these spikes or perhaps chompers are going to be a problem because otherwise there would be no disadvantage to going over there and getting it. Oh, and a red button. There's pop magic here. And a bridge activation button on both sides. Interesting. Before we continue with that, though, let's just see what's beyond this other red arrow, just because I'm kind of curious. Because if that's all we need, then what's here? Ooh, custom music. Um, but we have a green gate. Wow, this is uh, actually really nicely done. Uh, there's springs. And a key there. Purple magic, more springs, and a sign. This looks like it's some sort of end of the level thing, but I don't really get why it's here. All of the necessary components of the level seem to be in the other two areas. Okay. Well, let's just pass by these spikes and do the obvious thing first. I haven't really done much of anything yet. Okay. So let's start by pushing all of these down. I don't get what the button on the right is for. Oh, that's why. Because now we can't get back, can we? Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. 
We need to step diagonally off this bridge so we can avoid this button and press it to get back. That means we're going to need to use this button somehow. Here we go. Let's just go to the same area again. It's not like I it was much of a loss. Okay. Okay, this time I'll be a bit more smart about it. So... I think what you need to do is pop down these three and then push up this button. Like, from over here. Or, no, I don't need to do that. It's not that complicated. I couldn't forget that pop magic can now can be used to activate those bridges. All right, so now we can press the red button and get back. Oh dear, I have no time to read the sign. Ha! They're trapped. But I didn't get to read what that said. I didn't think to do that before pressing the button. Maybe I should restart again. Even though I'm guessing it's just information about how to solve the puzzle that is there. Alright. Go get those coins again and then cross over there and same solution and all. This time, I'll save before hitting the red button. Ah, shoot. I forgot. I had to diagonally move off of that. Come on, let's go! Okay. Pass this thing again. Easy. Pass these guys. Super easy. They don't, they don't go to this corner, so you can go by them. Okay. This time, I will be smarter. And diagonally move off of that bridge like I figured out to do before. Okay. Now I can save. Save game. Are you sure? Now you save that. A person's flavor is what you seek, but you shall find only what flavor exists in you. What? Ah, what in the mind? Ah, what the mind doesn't solve now, it will understand later, okay? That's it, okay. That's all I was missing. No puzzle help or anything. Not even, not even that much new information. Well, uh, by doing that, we accomplished Sending out a ton of chompers that are now trapped in that spot. Anyway, it's not like it really matters. It's not even that much of a scare, because you can just take the bridge down. And now the red gates are open. That's clearly the correct solution. Save game. Are Let's you save sure? there and continue. Lots of the uh, classic music being used here from the Wonderland series. Okay, that gave us the orange key. Now the obvious thing to do is to open this gate and get this ice item. Alright, let's save here again, just because this might take some timing. I need to freeze the turtle and place on the button. But the freezing ability only lasts so long, and I need to do a lot of things off here to the left before I can uh, completely do that, so finish what I want to do. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Let's try that again. Although, wait a minute. Turtles can go in the water. Could I use the turtle to cross the water? 
I don't think I can, because there's only one. So I don't think I could use him to cross the water. I think I have to freeze him on that button. Okay, so now... Where is he gonna go? That way? Yeah, that's what I suspected. Okay. Wait. Here with... Oh, I never picked up the magic. Whoops. Load game. Oh no, he's hitting the sign. So I need to bring him there. Uh, he's just gonna go back. Uh, okay. Okay, so I get... Okay. So what I have to do is... Hmm. I have to beat him outside. I think. Okay, let's let's grab the magic first and put that in the safe slot because otherwise I will forget, and I'll do it perfectly and I'll forget. Mm, if I beat him outside, he just resumes his normal path. How can I get him? How am I going to get him to go that way? There, there, there. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Safe game. Are you sure? Okay. The problem is now we're trapped in here. So there has to be another way to activate that red gate, hopefully. Okay... I don't get... We have purple magic and red magic. And, uh... Besides that, all that's here is two bridges, so we can use one of those to get over here and then teleport onto that blue button, which will then allow us to get over there and push the purple thing. Then we can get back. How are we gonna... Oh, that will lower. Hmm, let's just try it. I, pr I created a save game anyway, right? So it can't hurt. It's indigo. I keep calling that blue. Okay, so I think the puzzle here is you can't land on this bridge. You have to go straight here, because otherwise you can't get back. So there. Get that key. And that also lowered the white gate, which allows us to... It half opens that. Okay, I see the challenge. And I accept it. Because it's not like I care about going to that room anymore. I don't really know what I'm supposed to use the red magic for, though. At least not in this room. Yeah, I don't get the existence of the red magic, but maybe I have to use it outside. Was I supposed to use this on the turtle before it became a problem? Oh, we have a limited time button to open that gate again. I see. Oh, and we can't bring red magic out of that room. Okay. 
So now we're back out here, which I believe is what we want to do. Save game. Are you sure? Well, it better be what we wanted to do because we've cleared out that room and got the key that was over there. There's no real reason to go back. But now that gave us a green key. So, um, I remember there being a green gate over here. But this whole area looks kind of pointless. I don't remember. I don't see any point to this, though. But let's see, there's that key there. I'm just looking at this again, because... Oh, there's a sign, okay. Maybe that will tell us something we need to know. Because that looks to be the end goal of this room, and really? You're gonna make it difficult to tell oh, teleport over there by doing that? Fine. Load game. We'll do it again. Alright, we have the key. All is well. I'm hoping that that sign provides some useful information. Okay, so wait until they're both away from the spot that you want to land in. Okay. Oh, no, that wasn't good enough. Load game. Okay, let's save right in that spot, because that's going to be difficult. Because if they touch you, then it's game over. So... Go to the springs. Okay. Save game. Are you sure? I like the music and decoration here. It's like its own environment. Load game. Okay, that time I got the key, but I failed Load to get out of game. there in time. Oh, whoops, wrong save Load game. game. This feels kind of, uh, I don't know, Pokemon-esque? Yeah, that was kind of bad. Load game. Can I teleport right onto the key? No. Because that would make Load things too game. easy. But I can teleport in front of it. I promise you that this is more difficult than it looks. Load game. Ah. Load game. I almost had it that time. Come on. Get out of my way. Whoops. No, I didn't mean to right click the game window. Right. No! I had it! I had it and I clicked too far up. Uh. No. Load game. Load I want game. to find out what flavor I am. Get out of my way, Springs. Load game. I like how this epic music is in an adventure about finding out what flavor you are. No! Stop getting in my way! This is starting to actually bug me. Please... <laughs> please don't. There we go, okay. I made it out of there, for goodness sakes. With the key. Save. Uh, we have two more springs over here. So it's the same situation, except I have to go further, which is great. So, uh... Whenever they're ready... That had me immediately killed.
I'm gonna have to do some dancing to do this one. Like, I'm probably gonna have to actively avoid these guys after I open the gate. Can I actually save my game at this point? Are you sure? What happens if I do? Load game. Load game. Can I exploit that? I guess you would have to <laughs> he just he just spawns with no hat. That's kind of funny. If you you can you can save your game as you're Load dying, game. and it's an immediate game over, but he just spawns with no hat on him. That's kind of that's kind of weird. Ugh, I made it! Okay. You shall bow before your master. Bow to master sign. Ah, I see thou flavor, for it is not power you seek, but thoughts and nutrition. Just tell me my flavor. Ah, but patience is key, young Padawan, for thou shalt learn the key. Just tell me so I can go home. Look, I can't keep up this act much longer. If you really want to ruin the story, then fine. You're Anthony flavored. What? But how does that help me? Oh, good. Just disappear. Fine. Be like that. Save game. Are you sure? Well, did that change anything or do me any good whatsoever? Load game. Or was I supposed to use the green key for something else entirely? Oh! Gave me a rainbow key! I guess the color of Anthony flavor is, uh, rainbow. Because, you know, just makes it just makes so much intuitive sense. Cherry is red. Grape is purple. Uh, orange is, you know, orange. And, uh, Anthony flavor is rainbow. Well, that's the end of the level. And I got gold. Well, that was a, a nice level. It was nicely decorated. It was, um, you know, it, it had, it was a decent length. It had, um, a moderately easy, but still had, you know, a sort of puzzle to it. Uh, and yeah, it was, you know, decently nice. Although the springs did start to annoy me, they they didn't seem quite out of place. They were just starting to get annoying, but much like, you know, um, much like the some of the other elements of the puzzles, uh, they just were there to make it a little bit harder, and it's all right. Um, yeah, I liked that, uh, and I liked the decoration and the textures and the music that was used to give it a different, more fresh feel than some of the uh, other levels uh, that are custom for this game. Anyway, thanks, Matt, for continuing to make levels specifically for me. Seriously. Um, you've, you've made so many levels now just so that you can watch me record them. It's kind of, kind of funny. Uh, but at least, you know, it gives me something to make videos about more often. Um, which is good. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for that, Matt, for the level, and I will see you all in the next video.